Hey friends, today we're going to talk a little bit about crap. So today's probably going to be one of the more gross, I guess, of the, the metaphors that I'm going to give you. But I want to show you something. There's no other way to put it other than just to show you. Check this out. Uh, I live on a farm. There's my house. The, actually, the back of my house. Uh, there's my barn. All my land going way back. And um, one thing that makes your house really uh, do well and... and survive I suppose is the fact that we have a septic system well last night until almost 10 o'clock p.m. I had to work on mine I'm just gonna show you what we have here so this is a big tank and I don't know if you can hear the water running but inside that big tank I've got a pump that pumps all of the water out into the back of my field back there walking out of my favorite Chinese restaurant. I love Chinese, you know, chicken on a stick is my thing. That's my jam, you know what I'm saying? But I've been thinking the whole time I was eating about this sin thing. You know, we don't view it the same way God views it a lot of times. I mean, when you think about that, we don't view sin as that nasty muck that it is. I mean, we look at it and we see it as fragrant beautiful, tasty, um, desirable. That's not how God sees it. And whenever our eyes are clear, when he gives us eyes, the Bible says he gives us eyes to see, we see sin for what it really is, it changes everything. You know, because of the cross, we don't have that penalty anymore of sin. When we repent of our sin, we look to Jesus, we turn from it, we accept what he did on the cross, it changes everything. It really does. And it makes me understand that he got his hands very dirty, but he dove into it and he took it to the cross for me. You know, I have people that send me messages sometimes saying, I, I've just done this or I've done that and I'm just too bad. I can't be forgiven. God can't forgive somebody like me. But don't forget that God knows everything that we've ever done or will ever do. And he went to that cross just the same. He went there just the same. He did it anyway. Wow. Because he dove into that and took that and paid that penalty for me, he can make me white as snow and wash me clean. You know, we've all sinned, fallen short of the glory of God, every one of us. And the wages of that sin is death. It will back up and destroy our life, just like that sewage would back up into my house and destroy my house. But it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be like that. So anyway, be encouraged. If you don't get anything else out of this, get this. Look at sin for what it really is. And then look at the cross and what it really did. That's, that's about the best analogy I think you could ever have of sin. And that cross. Oh, how it gives us heaven.